I've learned many lessons in the studio in what we would call the hard way. I think one of the hardest lessons I've ever had to learn is that sometimes uh, when it comes to certain shows or topics, the answer that I need to give is just no. And for whatever reason, that can be a hard answer to give, especially in Christian circles. It can be misunderstood. The no to an interviewer or to a topic is usually not ever about that topic's not good enough or the person isn't a good enough guest. It's not that. It's usually that maybe the topic is over my head, I don't really understand what the book is about, or it's a direction that I just don't feel like God has for the show. For example, politics. Just don't do politics on bridges. We focus on God and a relationship with him and our relationship with others. So I've never done politics since the beginning, all 25 years. So that's a no. If you want to talk about politics, that is a no. But for those other kinds of topics, like the ones that are over my head or hard to understand or that I just, I don't get, the answer has to be no. Now, when I've said yes, that's been learning the hard way. I mean, I had one interview, it was a colossal fail. I mean, one of the longest 30 minutes of my life, actually, because I didn't understand the topic. I didn't know where the guest was going. I was just completely lost. And it was in that colossal fail that this secret from the studio came to me. It's like, Monica, stay in your own lane. So my secret to the studio to you is find what you're good at, do lots of that. If something's not in your genre or you don't understand it, you don't feel good about it, let the answer be no. It's called staying in your own lane and it's a really good place to be. I'll see you next time on Secrets from the Studio.